Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom 8, and today I will be teaching you how to automate the mass production of Industrial Craft 2 coolant, obviously from the mod Industrial Craft 2. Now, for today's build, I will be using four different mods, and those mods are Industrial Craft 2, Applied Energistics 2, Industrial Foregoing, and Nuclear Craft, although the first two mods are the only two mods that you actually need to kind of replicate this build. So let's get started. I have pretty much everything I need already in my inventory to build this and uh, most of it is like I said industrial craft 2 stuff with some applied energistics 2 stuff. The first thing I'm going to place down is the fluid solid canning machine and I'm going to place that next to this infinite water source that I already have placed down. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I need to set the fluid solid canning machine to fluid enrich mode and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in four transformer upgrades as well as six of the overclocker upgrades and that is to speed it up and allow it to accept the proper voltage that I have running throughout the rest of my system. So let's go ahead and hook that up real fast to actually let's not get up to the power just yet because I need to place down my macerator here and that will go right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in transformer upgrades overclocker upgrades and then I'm also going to put an ejector upgrade in this and I need to put the fluid ejector upgrade into this one and these are set up to output to the north side so my uh, storage for the IC2 coolant is going to be in a black hole tank from the mod industrial foregoing you can use any tank you wish I just like the black hole tank because it can hold lots and lots of an individual fluid so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the fluid uh, storage bus up here to only allow it to hold uh, IC2 coolant and then I can go ahead and connect that up to the system and let's go ahead and do that real quick so if I just run that down there we go and that will take a minute to actually hook up the next thing I need to do is I need to hook up the export bus here and that will go right here I am going to put a redstone card in it and acceleration card and we are going to export lapis lazuli into the macerator now to make IC2 coolant, traditionally you need 8 pieces of crushed lapis in a fluid solid canning machine with water and that will allow this to make industrial craft 2 coolant as in one bucket of it and that coolant will travel to this black hole tank. Now I do need to go ahead and hook up the power for these things and so we can do that right here. So we should have power, let's go ahead and toss in some lapis. Uh, this should crush up, uh, it should take just a little bit, and then once the fluid solid canning machine has eight of that, it will make a bucket of industrial craft to coolant, which it should push into this black hole tank right here. So let's see if that's going to happen, and everything looks cool. So what I need to do now is I need to finish hooking this up to my system, which can be done like so, and there we go. So what I want to do with the redstone card here is I want to tell it to only be active at certain times, active with signal, and I'm going to use a fluid level emitter to control that, and I'm going to place that, uh, I actually need to, hmm, I don't think it'll work if I put it there, but let's try that out, and let's see here. So are we exporting Lapis? We are. So I have this set up to be active with signal. And right now we can see that it is not active. And so I actually do need to move this fluid level emitter because it is emitting signal. So let's go ahead and grab my wrench. And let's do that. And let's see if I can actually place it right here I'm not sure if this will work or not so let's do that um, plus 10,000 so basically this will emit signal if it ha if I have more than uh, 10 buckets of IC2 coolant in my system which I do not let's lower this down to 1,000 it should emit signal and it is so let's see if we're getting any export action we are not so I do need to move that one over I believe which is going to be just a little bit tricky here and I don't know where that went um, went over here so let's go ahead and okay I'm gonna have to use a different color but that won't be a problem if I go ahead and use blue these shouldn't connect up and let's actually that'll work perfect 
if I can go ahead and put my level emitter right here, it should, I hope, activate this. It is, so fantastic. I need to set this up to be IC2 coolant, and then I actually am thinking I'm going to reverse this. So emit levels when levels are below. So basically, what you need to do is if you need industrial craft to coolant, you need to, uh, actually I need to reverse this first, um, active without signal. So once this gets up to a certain point, uh, let's say I want 1 million millibuckets, which would be 1,000 buckets. So let's type that in. So 1 million millibuckets of industrial craft to coolant. So basically, I have typed in this value here until I get that much industrial craft to coolant, if I have everything set up right, um, active with signal, um, it will continue to make industrial craft to coolant until I have that much industrial craft to coolant in this black hole tank, in which case it will stop. So let's actually lower this down to something that it's about to reach. Let's say 15 buckets worth. So that'll be really quickly. Um, so yeah, that'll be really quickly. That'll really quickly happen, I should say. And once that happens, this will stop exporting lapis into this, and then therefore it will stop making industrial craft to coolant. So basically, with this setup, all I need to do is say, tell the system how much industrial craft to coolant I want it to have, and it will make that much and a little bit more. It'll actually make eight buckets more because uh, this should be full of lapis when it when the level emitter shuts off, and eight lapis times uh, or 64 lapis in the macerator already uh, divided by eight per bucket of industrial craft to coolant equals eight extra buckets of coolant so basically this will stop making coolants uh, whenever you tell it so that is how you mass produce industrial craft to coolant by telling the system exactly how much you want it to make if you feel like you learned something today, definitely feel free to drop a like down below. If you uh, like watching automation type stuff in modern Minecraft, definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Anyways, signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom 08, and I will see you next time.